Aida for telling my sister grieving her dog is not the same as me grieving my husband? To make a long story short, I lost my husband only a month ago. It's hard, I'm still grieving and miss him every day. I have to take medication for depression and anxiety to help me get through the day. Last week, my sister's dog was put down due to some health issues and she was very upset, which is understandable. She called me as soon as it happened and said I was the only sibling who would understand her pain. I didn't mind, honestly I just wanted to comfort her since her dog meant the world to her. She held a wake for him and our whole family attended. It was a nice service. But now, she's comparing our losses. Telling me she knows exactly what I'm going through. That she can. Relate to the pain of losing someone so close to you. She calls me asking if we should visit graves together. It was fine the first time but it's constant. She goes three times a day. It's already difficult to go once a week for me and she knows this. I feel like she's not even considering my own grief process. Anyway, I told her that grieving her dog is not the same as grieving my husband. She's upset Andre fusing to talk to me now. I get it, it was uncalled for really. But my loss is new to me too and I guess I just got frustrated with how different we're dealing with our losses. IDK I feel like she should understand where I'm coming from too. A dog is not the same as a husband. A dog can't love you back like a husband can. A dog can't read to your children like a husband can. A dog can't make soup when you're ill like a husband can. It's really hard for me right now to discern when I'm being condescending or not. IDK if it's a side effect of my medication, or if the empathetic part of my brain has shut down. But I really am getting tired of her comparing our pain when she lost her. Dog and I lost my world. At the very least, she still has her husband. I have two young children at home, processing a loss unimaginable to most kids their age. And she streamed to whisk me away to graveyards to visit her dog. Aida? Update. There seems to be mixed opinions on this thread, which is fine. I guess people have different views on what SS holeish behavior is. First of all, I appreciate all of your condolences. There are just simply too many to like and respond to, although I think I got to upvote most of them, that I have decided to add it to an update. This garnered far more attention than I expected to, in all honesty, I thought the first few comments were enough. Some of these comments DID cheer me up. There was a whole etymology lesson in here at some point tears of joy secondly, I know where I went wrong. It's the whole reason for the post, after all, and I can see where me sister went wrong. I will have an honest conversation with her at some point, and we have spoken since the incident. But it was mostly to do with our mother's birthday. I think we're both just in a place where the wounds are too fresh. It doesn't help that as a big sister, I am normally always her rock, but this time, I was more like a deflated balloon dealing with so many other things on my mind. It's been a roller coaster this past month, and I think the graveyard visits were possibly more triggering than I realized at the time. I did want to be there for her initially, but it was just too much. It was never my intention to minimize anyone's pain of losing a pet, I went through a moment of selfishness where I thought she could not possibly understand my pain. I know losing a pet is a painful process for many people, I'm not really a pet person, so I guess that's where my lack of understanding comes from. But at the time, I did not think of it as insulting because I did not mean to imply she shouldn't feel grief over a pet. I had meant it as she couldn't understand the continuous effects of losing your partner and co-parent. Something new always pops up that he would normally deal with, a plumbing issue, having to fix some shelves, the kids wanting to have a barbecue. I lack in so many things he could easily sort out, and it makes me feel like a horrible parent and wife, like I was burdening him with so much. I plan to explain all of this to her. I think she'll understand. We've been through worse, and we've made it out fine. I have faith that our relationship will only become stronger from this. I love her, and as much as I am her rock, she's mine. But in this one particular instance, perhaps it's safer for our relationship that we keep a distance, we're just too different when we grieve. It's not compatible. But that doesn't mean I don't care about what she's going through. Aida for throwing out my husband's friend's food? My husband loves his buddy Steve, I would love Steve a lot more if he wasn't always trying to give my cat human food when he is visiting. I have explained it to him many times, Steve, do not give her anything, she is only allowed to have cat food. I have had to do this literally every time he has been in my house with food. Nevertheless, Steve persists. I come home yesterday and Steve and my husband are throwing darts in the garage. 
Then they go out and come back with some fast food, including a meal form. I turn my back for one moment to get some plates, and when I turn back around I see Steve offering my cat a piece of garlic bread. I yell at them to stop IT already, grab his whole meal and dump it in the trash. He calls me a itch and reaches for my meal, I grab it away and yell at him to get the hell away from my cat until he's learned some manners. They go back out to the garage and I overhear my husband trying to reason with him a bit but he's not having it, and he storms out. Steve I assist. Husband is understanding where I'm at with him always trying to feed the cat, but also annoyed Dan says I had no right to throw out his meal. I really don't want to see Steve in my house at Alany time soon, but at the very least I don't want them here with any food until he learns to keep Ido himself. I ate after confronting my friend for taking our picture out of his wallet to replace it with his GFS? My, 22F, best friend John, 23 meters, and I have been friends since we were kids. As kids we were very close and we had a fake wedding when we were 7 and 8. In high school we recreated the fake wedding pics and he had one of those pics in his wallet. Since he got with his GF Dyna, 23F, around 2 years ago John has distanced himself from me. We still hang out but I feel like he always makes time. For Dyna first instead of me. The only way I can see him now is if we go grab coffee once every few days but other than that he won't come to my house when we used to have sleepovers and movie nights and won't invite me to his house either. I feel neglected and hurt because we've been inseparable since we were small kids. Couple of days ago I grabbed coffee with him at a coffee shop and when he opened his wallet to grab his card and pay I noticed he had put a pic of Haman Dinah in the place he had our fake wedding pic. I asked him about it and pointed out how I noticed to which the only thing he said was, what about it? I was like really? Why did you have to take our picture out and replace it with him and Dinah? He said Dinah is his GF and he doesn't understand. Why I'm making such a big deal about it? I reminded him she might be his GF but he can't just throw me away, I've been his best friend since primary school, my pick existed in his wallet first and he throws it away to replace me with someone he knows significantly less. He got annoyed and told me that once I stop being an immature annoying brat he'll talk to me again. Until then I better leave him to his peace because he's not dealing with my childish tantrum. Aida here? Aida for sending our son away after he revealed to his sister's friends that she has dentures? My husband and I have a 14-year-old daughter and a 16-year-old son. When our daughter was 8, she developed a very rare mouth infection that just absolutely devastated her teeth and gums. She ended up losing all her teeth in both sets, and had to have some corrective work done just so she could have regular dentures. Obviously this was very traumatic for her, and she's still in therapy too. Help cope to this day. Our daughter is understandably very self-conscious about this. None of her friends knew about them. In fact nobody besides her doctor and dentist know outside the family, she doesn't want people talk now. She's very worried about people finding out, and won't even take her teeth out in front of the rest of us, she's worried someone will see. Her and her brother had a good relationship until he did what he did last week. He somehow recorded her taking out her teeth without her noticing, and then showed all her friends when they were over, not only have they all turned on her, but half the school is teasing her non-stop. She even had to change her phone number because dozens of kids were texting her the most vile things imaginable. I have never been more ashamed of one of my children until that moment, I don't know where we went wrong raising him, but apparently he thought it would be funny. After I kicked out her friends, who were mocking her and helped her through a panic attack, I called my father to pick him up and told him to pack a bag and get the UCK out. He's been staying with my parents two towns over, they didn't know what happened until two days ago. That came up because driving him to school was becoming a hassle, and they wanted to know what was it. When I explained they were disgusted, but still wanted to know when they could bring him home. I asked them if they'd take care of registering him for school in their town, and they agreed but were shocked. My husband and I talked, and we just cannot have him here. His sister hates him, we're so ashamed we can't even think of calling him. It sounds awful but I don't think our relationship can recover from this, and maybe this is what he needs. No friends, no family aside from his grandparents, having to start over might just set him right. My parents are willing to keep him until he's 18, but think we're too emotionally charged to be making this decision now. I ate after sitting with my son at my wife's funeral? I, 52M, was with my wife, 53F, since high school. We got married and had a son, 25M, and daughter, 27F, my son came out as gay when he was 16. My wife was never supportive of my son being gay. He moved out at 19 to live with his boyfriend.
My wife tried to pretend he did not exist. None of her family were supportive and would let it be known during family events. As a result, I became distant from my wife and was looking into divorce. She got diagnosed with breast cancer last year and he put the divorce on hold to help take care of her. Son also helped, but she would push him away. The cancer spread throughout her body and she passed away last week. We had the service last week and her family made it clear that son and his boyfriend had to sit away from everyone. Her brother approached me asking if I would sit with him and his family. I simply told him no and went to sit with my son. Everyone gave us dirty glares and it was worse during the reception. Her brother approached me after the service angry that I chose my son over my wife. He even went as far as to say that my wife DID not want her son there as he was a disgrace. I am now disgraced by her family for supporting my son. This has caused tension between the families. I just would like to know if I was the ah. Uh.